Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro and today I'll be showing you how to install a spooky map on your server so you can have a fright with your friends. This video will include 5 main sections, there will be timestamps in the description if you wish to jump to a specific section. Okay, we'll, we'll go with the easy then. Alright. Oh my god. Oh, there's oh my a lot god. of dead people. <gasps> you have found a Shrek Easter egg. Um, he's dead. Oh, he's what? dead. Into the floor. <laughs> no, we separate. I'm trapped. No, it trapped. I fell into a hole. It's an electric chair. Oh my oh. god. What? <laughs> what? Oh, what? Oh. <gasps> he's terrifying. Oh my goodness. Ew. Fix your teeth. Oh. <gasps> Whoa. That actually revealed no, something. Like chest plate. The it's, music is getting not... louder. We found you the other lever. Right. Oh. oh my goodness, what just happened? Oh my gosh, we're surrounded. Oh. Yeah. We activated it. You have only one chance to avoid the gas. If you fail, it will be your end. Let's run, let's run. There's a timer at the top, we're gonna die. We're not gonna survive this. <gasps> Stop Bro, it, this is unfair. He's trapping unfair. us. I just got poisoned. I just saw him. I just what the heck? He's regening. He's regening. Oh my goodness! All right. What is he doing? He just broke it. Oh gosh! What is going on? There's the exit. Firstly, you can use the link in the description to get to the official download page. If you scroll down, the download link is right next to the map details. All you have to do is click it, and it'll instantly download the zip file. This zip contains the map and the required resource pack, so you'll have to extract it to get the separate files. Additionally, there is also a readme file labelling some errors you may get and steps on how to fix them. To make the next step easier, I recommend moving this world folder to a place where you can easily access. For example, your desktop. Firstly, you're going to have to go to the server.pro website and access your server control panel from there. At the dashboard, make sure that the server version matches the map version to ensure no complications. If you're not sure what version the map is, the download page has embedded a map details section where you'll find all the information about the map. Before proceeding to the next step, quickly confirm that the server is offline. Afterwards, head over to the Files tab. Here you will see a couple different files, but the only thing we need to do right now is select the World folder and delete it. Then we click the Upload button in the top right. When this window appears, you select Folder and navigate to the area you saved the World folder previously. Clicking Upload, you'll be prompted with this pop-up. Click Upload and Upload again. It'll take a couple seconds for the files to upload. However, when it's done, you want to select the folder and rename it to something simpler, such as Spooky. It is important to note though, that spaces and special characters are not allowed. For the next step, you'll want to copy the name you just renamed the world to, proceed onto the server.properties file, look for level name on line 37, and after the equals, right click and paste. Now you have officially uploaded the world onto your server. Though if you want a resource pack prompt like this to pop up upon joining, go over to line 39 and paste the download link of the resource pack you wish to use. What we've done is uploaded that resource pack to our Dropbox, so if you'd like you can use our link which can be found in the description. When you're ready, turn on the server by going over to the dashboard and pressing the start button. Then, once the server has fully booted up, copy the hostname and paste it into the multiplayer section of Minecraft. Keep in mind, your friends will have to type up the same hostname in order to join your server. Upon joining the world, you'll be prompted with the resource pack pop-up. We recommend selecting yes, so the resource pack is instantly enabled every time you log back onto the server. To begin playing, you'll have to press this button. There are no player limits to this map, but make sure you only press this start button when everyone has entered the game. Before that though, it is recommended to read through the tutorial so you know what to do in game. Following the red carpet, at the end of the hall on the right, there is a list of rules you should follow if you want to get the most out of the adventure. Nearby, there is also a chest you can open containing some goodies, such as a face mask and a plushie. Furthermore, there are guides that you and your friends can take that will help you navigate through the story. 
Last but not least though, make sure you select one of the three difficulty levels on the left before starting the game. And once everything is ready, press start to begin your spooky adventure. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.